Friends, don't let your welding lens get like this before you replace it. Uh, they do sell at most welding stores replacement uh, lens cover material. You just cut it down to size. <laughs> We're going to get this guy back in shape today. Taking a peek at square first, so trying to make sure that my table is going to be square to my gantry. And I took a piece of plate because that's the flattest, longest thing I've got, and clamped it to the moving part of my gantry here. Put the old square on it, and this side is just dead nuts. I mean, all the way up, flat against the thing. When I move it down to this end like such and square off of good straight mark here there's a gap and then it's tight there obviously so either I have a twist up here or I have a twist down here this is what I call using witching sticks I don't know if this is the right term for it but I've got a yellow straight edge and a black straight edge you got to use contrasting colors and I'm looking for twist and if you can see on the right side here there's a little bit of twist in this frame so I'm gonna have to try and get that twist out and it's just barely noticeable but as you as you drop down you can see yellow on the left but no yellow on the right and that tells me there's just a tick of twist in there. So trying to just figure out how far I'm off from square and you can see the little bit of light coming through there. So I've got out uh, Mr. Blue Wrench there from underneath the bench and we're gonna heat that up. I've got everything clamped as, as hard as I can to this table saw. I'm gonna heat that up right here and try and twist this guy. We're not dead nuts on, but we're a hell of a lot closer. We'll heat it up and we'll give it just a little bit more. This will be our last look at her. It's uh, cooling down, no longer red. There's just a, just a tick of light, but I can't get my machinist rule won't, whoops, uh, no it won't. It won't fit under that square. That's where it's gonna sit. I think that's gonna be that's gonna be really, really close. Stage uh, whatever <laughs> three or four here of getting this thing square and true. I've got my my plate attached to the gantry up there, but I've got it now where this plate is scraping the entire length of the square and uh, that's good so I'm confident that this is parallel to that within you know a couple thou and now I'm gonna set my rails based on that square I've got it clamped down over here and I've got it clamped here so I know it's not gonna move here for a few minutes These two have got to be perfectly parallel and on the uh, x-axis when I did that <clears throat> I, uh, I measured and measured and measured and tried to do it that way. This time I'm setting up, I'm going to call it a little jig here, so I've just got, and I need to kind of move in here, but I've got my square against the rail that's already been put in and then a, just a little you know piece of angle a scrap with a point here clamped on so that it can't move so essentially I'm going to put in this screw 
and then I'm going to move this jig down to the other end and put in that screw and everything should be perfectly parallel hopefully. there's where we stopped for the night I got a uh, big hole drilled there that again is so this guy can fit down and tighten up the rails that have to come up through there so I got all the little holes drilled I need to draw drill all the big ones and this press isn't the greatest for drilling big diameter holes it just goes too fast so uh, it's it makes big chips and lots of noise that's that, so I just have to uh, just have to sort of live with it when it does that. But uh, for now, that's it. Don't let me go.